What's up, everybody? Welcome back it's to Mike's Dad's Garage. <laughs> um, back on the bucket, back for another video. Two in two days, I know. OMFG, WTF. So, this video uh, is about the Tech MC. I did a video on this, my first impressions. Um, I did another video, a uh, tool bag tour of this. And I've gotten a lot of comments on them videos asking how they were doing, how they were holding up. So, that's what we're doing today. And an updated tool bag tour. And my thoughts after a good year of using this tool bag. So right off the right off jump street here, let's let's go over the dimensions again. She's about 11 inches wide, uh, minus the handle, about 12 and a half inches tall, and let's say about nine inches uh, deep. And it's two sided. You got tool compartment over here with a couple. Uh, D rings, little zipper pouch there, really tiny little spot there. You got some pockets over here. It comes with the tape strap. Um, I added a glove clip and my gloves. You got this little uh, bit holder there. Pretty much just holds extra Phillips. And you know, we got a 3 8 and a 5 16 There's some oddball drill bits, commonly used stuff. Out over here, I can't do without one of these now that I have one. This is the Bosch 165 foot Bluetooth, which I never use. Uh, Blaze, uh, what is, which one is this? Uh, this is the uh, GLM uh, 50C. This is a bad mofo. Um, estimating pipe runs, estimating wire distances. Um, you need to go into a warehouse. You don't know how high the ceiling is or what scissor lift to order. You just shoot it straight up at the beam. You know, no problem. Um, use the hell out of it. I highly suggest, even if you just get one of the cheaper ones, you don't need this one. I think this one runs like almost 150 bucks, but um, just the 65 foot one, I think it's like 50 bucks. And it's it saves a lot of time pulling that tape measure out. You just shoot the little laser, done. Over on this side, this is where my Milwaukee flashlight lives and my Fluke pen tester. And the, uh, you know, Tape measure clip. That's what they're called. Comes with a shoulder strap. I do like the shoulder strap. <clears throat> the only thing is, it's got this nicer side, and then this side. Uh, you just have to, like, kind of sometimes flip it around. Not a big deal. If it was just this on both sides, I think that would be nice. But it works. It's comfortable. It um, it doesn't slip. A lot of these shoulder straps, I like I like to cinch them up real tight. I like to have them high up on my shoulder. And most of the time, I have to like take a staple or something and kind of pin the two pieces together so that this buckle doesn't slip. Have not had one issue. And there's another little clip right there. Um, both of them have stayed put without having to pin them or do anything to them. So when I first received this bag, I did receive it from Vito Pro Pack for a review. Um, I was like, you know, I'd heard a little bit of buzz about them. I saw a couple HVAC guys with them. They said they loved them, but I really was hesitant on the price. And I, all I can say is just get one. If you can afford one, uh, don't let it hold you back from getting more important tools. But if you want a really nice tool bag, look through their catalog. They're coming out with all kinds of good stuff. Um, this video has nothing to do with Vito Pro Pack other than that's what it's about. I haven't they don't know that I'm doing this. This isn't sponsored or anything. I genuinely really like these tool bags. Like, I think the Husky bags are decent too, but these are just uh, a little beefier, a little well more, more well thought out, uh, more functional, more um, intuitive, the way that they're designed. And uh, I, I, like I said, I wouldn't have probably ever pulled the trigger on one of these unless I got to try one out first. But take it from me, if you've got the money, check out their website because it's it's all really good stuff so um, let's go inside my most used side uh, so the thing with this bag is when I received it or I, they got they let me pick it and I was like give me that little one and I'm gonna just put testers screwdrivers pliers that's gonna be my runabout run into a job you don't know really what's going on uh, basic do-it-all kind of um, essential tool bag I did not expect it to be my daily tool bag I also have the Tech XL, which is a monster, and it weighs about 60 pounds when it's fully loaded down. And I, you know, I used to like taking that into jobs, <clears throat> and I, I really thought this was just going to be for smaller, simpler stuff, simpler days. But uh, this has turned into my everyday, my everyday bag. So 
it's one of the things with this, you know, with any tool bag is it, it, it'll fit more in it the older it gets. <laughs> it stretches. It makes more room for all the tools. So we've got, this is exactly, I didn't set this up. This is exactly how it sits right now. Um, the one and only nut driver I ever use is 7 16 so If you need anything bigger than that, use a goddamn socket. Uh, you, we, we, what do you turn in anything bigger than 7 16 I use this primarily for uh, quarter 20 nuts, all thread. Um, it's just the hollow shank, only nut driver I carry because if you want other sizes, the 11 and 1 has quarter inch, 3 eighths, and 5 16 on it. So there's four nut drivers. Like I said, anything bigger than that, just use a damn socket. Um, the mini Cobras. I freaking love these. Everybody laughs when I pull them out, and uh, <laughs> that's what she said. Um, Everybody laughs when, when they see them, and then I was like, dude, just try them. Here, hold on to them for a couple hours. Don't forget you have them in your pocket, but but just hold on to them. And, they're, and they come back, damn, dude, these things are awesome. How much are they? And I'm like, ah, oh, these are like 25 bucks. God, like, God damn, what? <laughs> you paying $25 for that? And I'm like, trust me, they're they're awesome. But um, while, while I got those out, I just got these in the mail today. This is the 8701150, a um, little bit bigger. I had I was using the hell out of these the past couple days and oh man this is gonna be a long video, <laughs> um, and I found that I needed something small but I needed also to be a little bit farther away from the work so I got these um, these are the five inch these are the seven inch and um, I haven't had to use them yet they're brand spanking new uh, exactly the same design but for a little a little pair of pliers like that they open pretty wide. I mean, you can you can do lock nuts with these in, in um, you know junction boxes. So I'm going to try these out. I'm actually going to I don't know put these in another tool bag, kind of forget about them for a little bit, and see if I like the seven inch for the daily uh, the daily use stuff more. And I got to find a spot for them. Um, I have my Klein, whatever the hybrid pliers. Still really like these. This is my third pair of them. The first one Klein sent me as a, a kickoff promotional thing, and I really liked them. And I lost a pair. And then I bought them again, and then somebody stole them, and then I bought them again. So if that's a testament to them, um, they're not good for everyday stuff. But if you walk into a job with these two tools, you can do a hell of a lot with just an 11 and one in these pliers. Like I said, they're they're unique, but they're they're really good. I like them. Um, pretty brand new journeyman alignment pliers. Um, nothing special about those. My Dykes side cutters these are the um steel worker or rebar special ones with this little kick here they're a little bit longer and they're the high leverage ones and when you put your hand all the way down here you can uh, you can cut damn near anything with within reason uh my favorite strippers the white and blue klein strippers i like these because uh they go up to eight eight wire the biggest size there is eight i don't strip any of this little tiny stuff i don't even go down to 14 so uh, having 12, 10, and 8 is more, just works better for me. Um, I These snap-on screwdrivers have been in here since I bought them. Since I did the video about them, they've stayed in there. There was a trial. I specifically got three different colors so I could see this, the difference in them because uh, I wasn't sure if these markings were going to stay, which they have held up pretty good. But I just, it's just easier to say, uh, grab the orange one or, or you know, I can, I know the, the, the red one's the flathead. So, uh as an electrician, I love the snap-on screwdrivers. These are the uh, Instinct Grips. Good old Weiss, Weiss, Weiss. Uh, both cutting directions, I think. Are the yellows left or right? I don't even know. I don't know much about them. They cut metal studs for me and sheet metal. They work. It's the standard. Everybody's got a pair. All right. I've got the Milwaukee little needle nose um, vice grip style pliers. These are great for holding nuts. <laughs> and you gotta, you know, you gotta hold, you know, hold these nuts and then uh, crank on it with a nut driver. These are, uh, these are really handy to have. And they're little. These are little and they'll do a lot. Um, I got this old ass Craftsman little flathead acetate handle. Nice yellow patina there. Look at that. Nice amber color to it. Yeah, that's, they don't, uh, that takes age. That takes years to get it like that. This is USA. I'm sure this is USA made. Forged USA. That's what it says there. Oh, you probably can't see it. Um, this isn't a daily thing in here. This is a Torx thing. I forget why I got this, but it's just, it's small and it fits. So 
doesn't get lost. Um, we have a half inch trade size, half inch trade size hole saw with some nut or something, a magnet. What the hell is that? A uh, piece of wire stripping, and there's like a little ground screw living in there. Um, a little emergency 90 degree MC connector. You never know when the hell you're going to need one of them. Good old Klein uh, hex key set that covers just about all of the terminations that I do. It, you you just as an electrician you got to have you got to have those. And I have these for you know this is a SAE Husky set. Uh, Husky big major fail here Husky major fail. These these two I'm missing a size and those two are exactly the same size. Thanks a lot. And I actually needed the uh, I specifically bought these for that size because. Of this little hex right there. These whole saws that we get have had hex and that doesn't fit it. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this is a good level. The magnets are still intact. I've dropped like a hundred times. That's usually my biggest gripe about these. Good old uh, three quarter inch EMT handled uh, reamer. The handle broke like the first week that I had this and I jammed that on there and it's been like this for a good 10 years. And I put pieces, it's strips of uh, 12 wire. To give it some shape so I can have a grip so it wasn't all around. Um, works. If, if it ain't broke, I mean, it was broke. I fixed it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it again. I don't need to buy another one. They're like 30 bucks. Um, I relegated an entire 12 piece socket set to this, and the extension is up in there. Um, here's a nifty little uh, tip or trick if you want to do this. Feel free to steal this idea. Quarter inch all thread. Quarter 20, quarter 20, 7 sixteenths. 7 sixteenths is the smallest size on here. Put a little nut and uh, washer cap at the bottom there. Put some tape on it. I don't know why I did that, so I guess it doesn't scratch up against the threads. So you put your 7 sixteenths on there. You put your nut on the top. Put your nut on the top. Lift the socket up, and then you tighten the whole damn thing down with the 7 sixteenths socket. And then you have the most compact socket set I think you could possibly have. Um, a random Milwaukee uh, Sharpie pen, Harbor Freight pick. You never know. Some job sites get kind of dicey. You might need to stab somebody. This little uh, was a four, five, six, and one stubby multi. Stubby multi. These are great because you have five sixteenths, quarter inch. You don't have to carry around five stubbies. You got them all right in one tool. I have a ratcheting one too, and I really don't like ratcheting anything as far as screwdrivers. The ratcheting one's even a little bit better. It's a little bit longer, but um, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't ever have individual stubbies after getting that. What else is down in here? And now we're getting into the mystery zone. Um, basically trash. 1900 cover. Um, this is the Greenlee Hollow Wall Lead Anchor Set Tool. This little bastard is like $100, and it's only because Greenlee has the patent on it. And it is hardened steel, but um, if you need to set a lead anchor in a uh, block wall, hollow block wall, this is the only thing that does it, and um, we use it for mounting CT cabinets and big switch gear sometimes. Works Even works great if you're not using it on a hollow wall. You just hammer it on there and loosen it up with a pair of channel locks. Had to buy that in a pinch. Uh, what else is down here? Ooh. This is relatively new, the Milwaukee or Klein. I forget. This is a Klein. I can't really see. Klein uh, step bit that goes up to one inch or one inch trade size, one and three eighths inch nominal size. That's working out pretty good. I like those Klein ones. Um, connector, wire nut. I think, I think that's it. What is this? Oh, paycheck. Um, <laughs> so that's. That's that whole side. Up here, extension, um, I don't even know. Oh, uh, three quarter inch spade bit. Every once in a while I run into some wood. Three a drill bit. I usually forget what's in there. And then tell people I don't have the stuff. Well, there's a little thing. There's like a little thing up here. I never noticed that. You could like, uh, maybe that extension. Maybe that extension can go up here. Yeah, look at that. There's a little secret pocket up in there. A little slot. All right, this side, got the tape hook. That comes with the bag. Uh, usually my razor knife fits in here. I think it's sitting in my uh, console in the van. And then, that's right, that little power tool fits in there. Got my M12 impact. That is like my favorite power tool, pretty much. 
random zip ties. Um, this is a great little tool. I don't use it that much, but it fits in here and it doesn't take up, uh, not taking up valuable space. So I keep that in there. It's good for cutting those uh, acoustical ceiling tiles. It leaves a nicer, cleaner cut when you're using a, a metal blade. You can, this is just sawzall blade holder. That's all it is. Like everybody makes one. It's not special, but they're fun to have. The uh, neutered T6600 with a, a field sense delete kit. Whatever that technology is called, yeah, field sense, uh, refuting the AVE video that he said that there was mains voltage on the back of it and is a piece of fucking garbage. Uh, I beg to differ. I ripped that feature off because I didn't really think it was that great. Uh, little Klein jab saw, Vera insulated uh, Robertson number two Robertson, I think. Whatever's the common size for those breakers, I believe it's a number two. Does it say here? Insulated the only insulated tool that I have <laughs> um, Just because this is the only File that I could fit in there if I'm doing a lot of pipe work I will grab my other file a regular uh, half round file But this little guy works in a pinch if I got to do like one thing with pipe It's just I bought this one specifically because it fit if it fits it sits um, These are pretty new I actually haven't really used these too many times But I realized I didn't have needle nose in there and there was room for some needle nose so uh, Good old channel lock made in the USA Right there, good good brand. Um, they're still kind of tight, very shiny, very new, very blue handles. You can always tell new channel locks by the color of the handles. You can date. It's like carbon. It's as accurate as carbon dating. What shade of blue the handles on channel locks are? Because these should be the same color. Well, it doesn't really show up on camera, but these are are starting to lighten or actually darken up a little bit. They actually, I've seen them where they almost turn green after years. Uh, what, are we, what is this? This is a uh, Crescent adjustable wrench. Those are always handy to have. Another Sharpie. Yeah, the uh, flexible, the flexible um, fish tape leader. Damn, this video is long. I apologize. I'm trying to get through it. <laughs> uh, this is good. When you're going through like four inch pipe, you can attach your fish tape to this little end here. This comes apart. You bend it over, screw it back together. And then you have this thing that that'll make it it'll make that tip go around the bends and get through the spots a little bit better um, That's that's just kind of been in there. It's not really in the way. Uh, this is a Klein carbide tipped half-inch hole saw What else? Oh cell phone charger what is This oh, uh, what is this Klein plug tester? This is a good one. They're all pretty much the same Another paycheck Connector. I think that's what is up in here. I always for oh, I just launched that. Where did that go? I and this came with something, and it's a really nice little tiny flathead. So, um, like I said, after a year, I love it. I've beat the hell out of this. I literally just chucked this thing in the back of the van. It's taken all the abuse. Um, this is a crucial feature. I had diesel spill in the back of my van. And the two Vito bags were perfect. They had a little bit of diesel on the bottom. Um, all the other tool bags just soaked it right up. Um, you can lay it down in a puddle. You can lay it down in a, a very shallow river if you'd like. And everything's fine. It's a nice little uh, little tub there. And everything's anchored securely to that. So I love it. I wasn't expecting it to be my daily tool bag. But let's, let's, let's just look at this pile here. That's everything that fits on the inside. You would, would you believe it? Would you just look? Would you just look at it? Look at all them tools. They all fit in that bag. So I love it. If you're on the fence about one, get yourself on that uh, side of the fence where you buy one because I, I love them. Um, I could do without it. Like I don't need it, but it just makes things a little nicer. Zips up tight. Doesn't uh, hasn't deformed at all. It's had like five ladders laying on top of it. I haven't had any issues. No rips, tears, and uh, the older it gets, the more stuff you can fit in it. Because I definitely day one I couldn't have fit all this stuff in here. It just stretches out a little, stretches out a little. Keep jamming more stuff in there, and uh, that's everything I pretty much need on a day to day basis. If I need anything else, I just run out to the van and get it. So this video is long as shit. I apologize, and uh, thanks for watching.